happen like that? Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Smoke, you shouldn't have started that. Yeah, niggas call me out, but never call me back. Right. So I'm just about the money, I need all the checks. If you ain't got over 30 battles, I can't call you back. No. You ain't coming outside, you are not a threat. At all. 2K, 5 on 5, I want all the rent. When shooting with the shooters, I lost all respect. Back. I empty out during low, like we're hollow. I'm focused, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang rights gang clothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, the nobody that knows body. So I want to get into this, right? Rum Nitty says I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, I wanna I'm, I'm gonna give you some variables about some different things today. And salute to every single one of y'all out there. Every single person who's watching this content. I hope that you are having a good day, you're prospering, you're doing what you got to do, you're being positive, we're improving our lives and just taking the steps that we need to take to do what we got to do, right? So you got rum nitty. I'm going to give you my three. Like this is the, the, the my prohibited favorite to win this Ultimate Madness 100 bands. I got a couple people who's just my personal favorites. Now you can jump in the comments, they're going to be there for you. You can tell us who you think, right? You got Freeway and Minnesota Luke, along with the other judges. I think those are good judges. Freeway knows bars. Been around battle rap. Is a huge fan of battle rap. And Minnesota Luke is a freaking historian. Like, he knows his stuff. So you got, to me, I think my three prohibited favorites to win this whole thing are, and I'm going to go from bottom to top, T-Top, Geechee Gotti, and Rum Nitty. I think, and I feel like, Rum Nitty, to me, is my prohibited favorite to win this. And the reason why I say that is when it comes to back-to-back -to -back punches, being able to layer on material very quickly, because when you're looking at judge format battle, it's all about the flash, the bang. A lot of that material that's layered and you got to think back to it, like when JC said, I put six in the U to none, none, like six in the U, Six in and in you, in and in you with six in and in you, that's fire, right? But for a lot of people, that's they didn't get that on the surface level. Our minds are not designed to be inclined to find. That's why Lux says rewind find is more to find in my bag today. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But Rum Nitty, first of all, he has Sirius Jones, right? And he has such fire lines. He'll be like, he'll, he'll, he can easily say something like, uh, since you backed out on Big K, hey, hey, you know he starts yelling. You backed out on Big K, so I back out of Big K. You know that's a flip, flip. You back out on Big K, I back out of Big K, S K H K A R fifteen. And when you get hit with this A R P, do you believe? Like he is rum that he's able to flip, and he'll go with some more lines with a get wet the scuba steep. Like yo, this nigga rum nitty is a monster with the bars. And the punchlines are there, and they're rapid, and they're back to back, and they're highly intense. You take Rum Nitty's performance versus Chilla Jones, his performance versus New Jersey Twerk, his performance versus a lot of folks, and you put them in that environment where it's real quick hitting, boom, boom, boom. He's got to be head and shoulders above a lot of the competition there. Now, I know in a lot of these tournaments, you know, you got people who aren't expected to win. Like, Fonz wasn't expected to win. He won. Home to the God wasn't expected to win. He won. So, I get it. But when I'm looking at just the, the actual tournament, just the actual battles, I just feel like, and I feel like, um, Rum Nitty has, and he said, I'm ready. That's what Rumney said. He tweeted. And like I said, he don't promote battles. He don't be tweeting about shit. But he did tweet, I'm ready. And it's only uh, Thursday. So if Rumney says on Thursday that he's ready, Sirius Jones is going to be in front of some shit this week. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. Now, Sirius Jones, it's not impossible for Sirius Jones to win a battle. You know what I'm saying? It's a judge battle as long as he comes there and he brings some fire. But he's going to be facing a lot of punchlines. He's going to be facing them. You know he's going to be facing that heat from that whole ARP shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. But, uh, you know, there's going to be other people in the tournament that's going to be facing heat. The females who have been accused of having ghost riders, they're going to face heat too. Trust me. Like, that, that... I've seen the pendulum swing where a lot of people in the beginning felt like Yoshi was going to win the battle and now they feel like she's not going to win the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like I've, like I've literally seen the polls go from one way to another. Um, good luck to both and hopefully, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers do their thing. But uh, yeah, it, it, it definitely the pendulum swings. But um, T-Top, I think T-Top has a good chance to win this whole thing too because he's tournament tested and he's done it before. To have won a tournament before on that level... Like, I mean, it's not 100,000, but to have to write bars that quick and battle opponents back to back to back to back, and he's got Jack Boy Main first. Not not taking nothing from Jack Boy Main, but T-Top is definitely a prohibited favorite versus a Jack Boy Main. And it's simply because of what both have done within the last year, within the last couple of years. You know what I'm saying? You've seen T-Top's career go like this. You've seen Jack Boy Main's career go like this, like that, like this, like that, like this, like that. You know what I'm saying? So... Currently, he's a heavy underdog, and rightfully so. I don't think there's many people that don't live in the DMV that's not that's going to pick Jack Boy Main to beat T-Top. And in these kind of judge scenarios, your first ba getting that first one out the way means a lot. When you get that first battle done, um, it's like, okay, now I got my feet wet. Now I can just move on and focus on the next person, the next person. And Rum Nitty got so many punches that they come back to back to back like that and he's able to like he can write for like three niggas at one time he can write for three people boom he got one person out the way if he's saying he's ready he can literally jump back in the next bag and start working on the next person and start coming up with more lines and more scenarios and more quotables he's a very very dangerous opponent Gichi Gotti is definitely one that is dangerous because he's got punches He's got charisma, he's got a huge fan base and a lot of likability, but the only thing about him right now, to me, Gichi Gotti is battling too much. Um, he's got uh, clean paper coming up in the middle of that tournament. He's probably got like another one rounder coming up in the middle of that tournament. And it's just like, when you stretch the product thin and you battle it week for week for week for week for week for week, you could get to a point where somebody who's just focused on you could get the edge up on you, especially if they go second. See, that's the thing about a lot of these tournament deals. Going second means a lot because you leave the last or the last thing impression. So I think that um, he's got a first round battle. If he could get through his first round, which is not going to be a walk in the park, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of these folks here really like trash, per se. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but the thing is, when you get to URL level, like, nobody's really trash. Like, it's not a lot of MCs that are trash. It's hard to get there. You know what I'm saying? It's like getting to the NBA. Everybody in the NBA would smoke everybody in the damn, uh, in the YMCA, per se. But, uh, I, there are other MCs out there who can go on runs, um, but I think it means a lot, because I, I, like, when I look at the list, Jerry West could do some things. Swamp could do some things. Uh, you know, Twerk. Could definitely twerk is has the highest ceiling out of everybody, but it's just that preparation. Like for when you have to prepare for a battle, two weeks, one week, quick prep. Twerk has never been good with preparation, so it's like he may get a good one out versus KCJ and might even beat a KCJ. But KCJ is not upset alert. This is the one battle where they could potentially be. Uh, upset and bust everybody's bracket because Casey J is dead nice. Let's not act like we didn't see her versus uh, Swamp. I mean, she beat Swamp, but she's dead nice and she could easily come in there, bring three fire rounds, especially if she goes second. Or if Twerk has any slips or stumbles, not not wishing that, not calling for that, but I'm just speaking from personal viewpoint and viewership. Um. I do hope everybody, you know, brings it and does their thing. Uh, official versus Cortez. 
I fuck with Cortez, but I kind of got official winning that. Official, official just went crazy versus Tay Rock and got him out of here. You know what I'm saying? To most, you know, Rock, they, they, you know, a lot of people was talking about his viral third round or whatever the case may be. But to most and uh, to a lot of folks, you know what I'm saying? Official kind of got that. But I mean, you know, it's like uh, there's some more dark horses in there. You got um, Prep. If Prep, Prep has to get by Twerk though. You know what I mean? Twerk, I mean, no, Sway. Prep got Sway. Prep got Sway. My bad. My bad. My bad. I was looking at the old. At the old list of things, but I think overall I am um, pretty confident with my picks of Rum Nitty, Geechee Gotti, and T Top. Um, if I had to pick, I think the winner will come out of those three. I think Rum Nitty has what it takes to win the whole thing. It's a hundred grand on the line. It's gonna be really different with a hundred grand on the line. It's it's a very different scenario, like. You could lose battles in other, in other scenarios and other phases and shit like that. But if you choke in a tournament or a battle that's worth 100 grand, niggas are never, you will never, they are going to ride that one until the wheels fall off. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's going to definitely be different, the, the, the blogs and the recaps and the talk. Um, and I think the folks that have these ghostwriting things hanging over them, they're gonna have to get through that. They're gonna have to address that. They're gonna have to, you know, get by that. I'm not really harping on it too much because I said what I had to say, but it's like, you know, clean paper. I mean, not clean paper. Quantum physics was like, fuck it. If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. Nino Brown, you pulled the Nino Brown on people. Um, but you know, when people are angry, they'll lash out and they'll say anything. So I don't know if everything that he's saying is true, you know, but at the same time, he, he definitely had a lot to say. But Overall, Rum Nitty says he's ready. When you get hit with this ARP, do you believe? Do you believe? I, I'm telling you, um, Sirius Jones has got a match on his hands. He went from jumping out of the frying pan into the fire because the battle with Big K, it would have been what it was. But Rum Nitty, I think the pose is like 95 to 5 or something like that. Like 95 to 5? That's crazy. Um, K Shine also was uh, was also chirping at um, Hollow. He said, uh, "Tell this nigga Hollow, diss me on stage, make Shine mad." He really wants that. Uh, K Shine really wants that Hollow to Don battle. Um, I don't know what's 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 pressed about that or what's coming out of that. I've been hearing rumblings though. I've been hearing rumblings about a card, but I ain't gonna put it out. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it simmer down. It's that simmer sound. And then um, if it does come to play, uh, some very big names should be seeing each other pretty soon. And I think that um, for all leagues, continuing to build, develop, and have talent on big stages, whether the big stages come back or just the small rooms, would continue to be dope too. But um, I'm interested in Jerry West versus Swamp in this tournament. Uh, somebody's got to win. So, you know, hopefully, I haven't really seen or heard much from Jerry West which means that uh, Jerry West could be in his bag. He's very innovative. Jerry West, to me, all right, that's what I'm gonna go with. My dark horse, my Fonz, my, um, my homesy to God is Jerry West. Like, Jerry West is the one. Like, he could really, really, he got punches, he got flow, he got charisma, he got swag. Like, we not fucking with Jerry West? We not, we not, we not, we not rocking with West? Swamp is dope too, though. Swamp leveled up in his battle with a two-on-two. -two. I know that a lot of times people say somebody can't level up in a two-on-two. -two. Is you shitting me or is you kidding me? He went crazy in that two-on-two. -two. But anyway, salute to everybody out there, man. I appreciate all of y'all watching this content, subscribing um, as we continue to grow, continue to build, continue to do what we got to do in our personal lives and professionally. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say that. And, you know, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families out here. I know y'all see everything that's going on in the news with, um, the case that just went on with a lot of the shootings and things like that. I just want y'all to be safe out there. You know, take care of your loved ones, man. You know, hug your family tight. Let them know that you love them, that you care about them, and that you're going to be there for them. You know what I'm saying? Because um, as, as minorities in society, we already are facing a lot of adversity and a lot of challenges. But we got to continue to stay strong. But other than that, you already know what it is, man. Salute. If you don't want no smoke, you shouldn't have started that. Niggas call me out, but never call me back.
So I'm just about the money, I need all the checks If you ain't got over 30 battles, I can't call you vet You ain't coming outside, you are not a threat 2K, 5 and 5, I want all the rent Shooting with the shooters, I lost all respect. I am 